Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video. Today I'm going to show you how to set up voice meter banana. So I usually use the normal voice meter. So today I'm doing an update on voice meter banana. So first of all you want to go here, up here, it's hardware input. And you want to select, uh, first of all it has to be WDM, so be sure it's WDM. And then select your microphone. So mine is this one, the Blue Yeti. Um, so I just, yeah, just select the microphone that you have. Then we want to go to the output, which is, yeah, your speaker. So what you're going to hear. And you will go to, uh, again, WDM. It's, uh, you can do MME, actually. You can do that. But I would advise you to do WDM because the WDM just really works good. So you want to go ahead and select the speakers, but the VP Audio Virtual Cable one. You want to be sure you have this one uh, selected. Then we're going to go on this, to the first panel again. Um, this one here will change you the quality of your so voice. So if I do this, if I change it around, you will probably notice that my voice will change. Uh, I generally rather have it around here in the normal voice meter one. So I generally you have my voice around here, but I just change it up now. Uh, and you can just do that for yourself as well. You just listen to your own microphone, to your own voice, how it sounds, and you can change it right here. Or you can go up here or here. That depends on your microphone. But you will probably just stay here because this is where you get the best uh, sound quality. Then we go on to this one here. It's the gate. It's the audio gate. Yeah, just be sure it's 7 or underneath 7 I will do. Uh, but this around this, is it's good. Then next up we have the fader gain, which is pretty much actually the volume of your voice. Uh, mine is actually pretty low generally. I have mine at uh, minus 9.1, so that means that it's not really loud, the, the, the voice. Uh, but in this video I wanted to show you that it's actually the best to do is between 0 and minus 5. So be sure you have actually somewhere between yeah 0 and minus 5. Uh, I have that minus 4.5 here. It's good enough. Uh, your voice sounds pretty clear, it's pretty loud, and that's important as well. So you probably have still A1 selected, be sure you deselect that. In this situation you want to click this one is when you want to hear your own voice. So you click on this, then you go to A1 and you select your speakers. So this is those are my speakers that I actually have. So that's where the sound comes from, my actual speakers. And, and then you have to be uh, sure that this is selected as well. And then you will hear yourself talking. I don't like that, but there are people who like that. So in case you wanted to know how to do that, there we go. Then you want to go here, it's nothing, mute this one, mute this one as well. So this one, if you look up here, it's voice meter, uh, aux, whatever, it's just be sure that's muted as well. And then actually comes another pretty important part. Um, you have this EQ mode here. Uh, be sure you go to the first one here and you just click on EQ. You just have to click on it normally. And if you have done that, you can go click on it again. Right click this time. So like that, this window will pop up uh, as you can place whatever. And you'll see uh, loads of buttons, you can make lots of combinations. Um, I didn't do it in this video, but basically this will make your voice even better, of course. And um, it's up to you, it's like how your voice sounds, how your microphone is, it all depends on that. Uh, you just have to listen to your own voice and ch start changing all of these buttons in order to get a really good audio quality for yourself. But that's why this is made. And if you changed a lot of buttons and you're like, oh, I want to reset, you click on flat. If you click on flat, it will reset the whole thing. So yeah, guys, that is how to set up Voice Me to Banana. Uh, I hope this video helped. If you like this video, please leave a like. It would be really nice. Subscribe would also be really nice. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.